we're off. We're off. Okie doke. So the handbrake. Now the handbrake. Don't need to worry about the handbrake. Don't need to worry about the handbrake. No. So I'm in drive. So I just press the accelerator down yeah. so I can just go. So it's electric, isn't it? It yeah. is. Here we go. What's the performance like on the two models? On the entry level and the 58 kilowatts Ionic 5, you can get 0 to 62 in 7.4, and that's in the 58 kilowatt. But if you go to the uh, impressive all wheel drive, you can actually get 0 to 62 in 5.2. So that's some power. Mm. So that just shows what kind of an engine that's actually underneath uh, the Ionic 5. So, yeah, two very, very good uh, engines with very good range which is above the national average of, uh, on the EVs. Great. Oh, where are we going here? Sorry, I've, sorry oh, no, Andy. No. I, th I thought it told me to go did, right. Did. Um, but I think I turned right too soon, didn't Probably, I? Probably, yeah, but we'll turn back round, can we? We'll turn back round. We're going to test your knowledge now and use the camera. <laughs> I'll try and yeah. do um, a three-point three turn if I can. But I don't think I'll get round, will I? No. So we've now reversed. So that's it. It's turned down. Yeah. Set. The um, that camera is really good. That's yeah, brilliant. what you'll actually see there, it's got a lane detector as well. So it's actually as you turn in your wheel, yeah. the yellow mark is actually showing you which way your wheels are going. And the blue line is telling you that's when you're actually straight. So if you turn your wheel now, you'll see it goes back straight. So yeah, it's a full colour. Oh, that's fantastic. That yeah. is really good. Okay, we're clear. So what is it about the EVs that you like? I think I, I think it's just lovely to drive. I like you know I like the feel of it. It's it, it just feels really nice to drive. It, the seats are really comfy. Um, you know to me that's really important having a, a com good good seat. Um, just really smooth. I like you know the electric side of it. The range also sounds good. You know, um, One of the good yeah. things that uh, High and I have actually done as well is when they've redesigned this model, the IM5 spent a lot of time redoing it. They've actually recycled a uh, lot of the, the seating. Right. Um, so they're actually using recyclable cloths, leathers, oh, that's and things really like good. that. So it's actually yeah. environmentally friendly. Yeah. And even the paintwork now, mm. they've actually used uh, rapeseed oil. Once you get used to this, uh, you know, this taking your foot off the accelerator, it's really good actually. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it, at first it's a bit like, you know, kind of a bit weird, like, yeah. but then you think, but yeah, actually, what's, wrong with, what's yeah. wrong with the car, but it's really, it's good. Yeah, it, yeah, it sends the power back into the, into the engine, so it actually recharges the engine. I must admit, I've still, Quite, you know, to t use the cameras, yeah. it's, I, I, I want to turn around as well. You do. I'm, I'm going to do a belt and braces job and turn around as well, but I don't need to, do I, Andy? I can no. just, I I'll... Trust your instincts. Yeah. And uh, this one's got the capacity with the 800 volt now that you can actually charge your car anywhere between uh, 10 to 80 percent in around about 18 minutes. So oh, five amazing. minutes charge yeah. takes uh, give you 60 miles of a range. That's brilliant. So that's really neat. What about colours? Yeah, they do all different colours. They do. They? they do two. They do two um, different paint finishes. Yeah. So they actually do metallic paint, and they do a matte paint as well now. But some fantastic ranges of colours that they actually do. There's What's a nice one called Gravity Gold, which is a matte colour. Oh. I'll we'll show you that later on. Oh, that'd be nice to see. What, what's your most popular colour? Would you say at the moment? I would probably say the Gravity Gold at the right. moment because it is a matte and it's a com it's a completely new colour. Yeah. Does it have electric seat warmers and um, a steering wheel warmer on all of them, or some of them, or none of them? You can have seat warmers and you can actually have a steering wheel on the ultimate model. Right, those are nice. That's those good. The option with the cooling seats as yeah. well. What affects the range on the EV? This round about seven different ways that it actually affects it with the range on the EV. This on the Ionic 5, and we also have the Ionic itself, and we also have the Kona. 
most common questions is, is that one that we get asked and uh, it's weather conditions is one of them. Mm. So like in winter and colder days, it takes warmer to get the engine running. Uh, so that will take actually a little bit more power out of the out of the battery charge. So if you're, you're driving in snowy conditions or heavy wind and rain, so that's why I and I have actually spent a lot of money on developing uh, the, the car, the shape and the style of it to try and increase uh, the mileage that we're actually getting. The, on the rear there's a, a spoiler which has got the air vents and the air vents then as the wind's coming down they'll actually take it back through onto the window and disperse the water as you're driving. So that's not using as much power again, using the electric motor which again, again is increasing the power. And on this particular model, we can get up to 279 miles of range. Oh. So that's one of the things that can actually affect it, as well as on other EV cars as well. Andy, how do I charge your car? What do I do? Very simple. Um, as we are now at a charging point, we are going to do new shopping. So first and foremost, we have to open the charge point by pressing the button. That straight into the charger, simple as that. You just charge my car, we scan it, and off we go shopping. Lock the car up, we come back, and hopefully we'll have more charge for an hour on the journey home.